Hey, what's going on, everybody? My name's Chris, and welcome to RuneScape Highlights Episode 1. So, <laughs> I did a stream of this game the other day, and um, because of just the nature of how large this game is, there's kind of really no way to show literally everything. Um, so, what I'm deciding to do is these highlight videos in addition to the stream. So, this first highlight video, whenever you see like this, like how it's set up, with, like, you know, which is unoriginally Chris LPS, my sub goals and all that, the follow goals, you can assume that, you know, this was this happened during the live stream. Uh, whenever you don't see stuff like that like the the templates and stuff um assume that uh it, it was it was taken after the fact and you are going to see a bunch of that towards it's going to probably be like at the end of all these episodes so there's also going to be sections of this video that are also like me actually like commentating live during the like the live stream itself and honestly just just look at my mouth <laughs> if what i'm saying matches up with my mouth you can tell it's live uh if not like as you can very clearly see right now uh this is not live because you know I'm, it's sped up <laughs> so you, you I, I believe in you you're a smart lad you could figure out if it's it's if it's a live commentary or the post commentary or not so right now the plan is i'm gonna do pretty much all the leveling off screen um, i will go over what i will be doing to level before like doing it for example i did a lot of combat I like kind of went over a lot of the combat in this first stream and went over like a few other things like prayer, uh, fishing and such. So I did some of that off screen. Um, and pretty much anything like we did for on Tutorial Island, I, I pretty much started training. But until like I do something like I make it to the first agility course, then I won't start training that. Things like quests, I'll be doing a lot of on these first few streams until like, you know, I get to the point where I can do other stuff. I want to do a lot of bossing, clue scrolls, probably even peaking, staking, pretty much all the fun stuff I plan to do on stream, but you know, it's going to take a little while to get there. This is a brand new account and I don't have a super whole long or super long time to play. So uh, there's that. So without further ado, enjoy the highlights. Oh my goodness. That music. I used to play this game a lot as a kid. <laughs> uh, a lot, a lot, a lot as a kid. This is 100% my most played game of all time by, well, I can almost guarantee you can, you can combine every, each and every hour of every other game I've played my entire life. And I, I would not be shocked if this still overtook it. I like, I breathed RuneScape when I was younger. I breathed it. So, <laughs> This is, this is me, and we can customize our character to look however we want, but a part of me kind of just wants to be this guy. I definitely read that as Jew. I was like, what? Oh, yes. What, what head, torso, arms, and Jew do we want? Oh, there it is. Oh, my God. <laughs> so, I first played this game probably in, like, 2006-ish. Oh, God, this feels weird. Oh man, it's kind of hard to tell what the hell's going on. Everything feels like so zoomed out. I could like it's gonna have to like squid my eyes to see what the hell's going on. Hello there, dear Cameron. My name is Banana. <laughs> Banana is so funny, right? Oh, look at that face. Look at these horrible faces. <laughs> you call that cooking? Some shape on an open log fire. Oh no 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 no. I'm gonna teach you the fine art of cooking bread. Good day, I don't see a bread. My name is Sandy Moneybags. Yeah. Fuck you, night bitch. Yeah, you little, you little night bitch. Oh, shit. Whoa, what is this? <laughs> what are the Iron Man tutors? Oh. So there's actual multiple uh, versions of this game at this point. You can, um, the newest versions of the game are actually called Iron Man and Ultimate Iron Man and Ultimate Iron Man. <laughs> Those are all real and different things, I know, right? And um, the difference between Iron Men are they are not allowed to trade with people or sell things to other p uh, people. And while it's kind of fun, I think it kind of takes the fun out of it a little bit when you can interact with other people. And I would really like to interact with other people, so I'm holding a big stuff! A big, mighty stuff! Oh, I just got teleported, okay. Welcome to Lumbridge! Gamer, hell, click on the Lumbridge guide. So. Here's the world map here. Oh shit. Oh wow, this is actually a bit updated. Wow, this actually looks kind of new. So, <laughs> here's where we're standing, right? Right, mate? Look how bloody big this world is. Check this shit out. Damn, wow, what is this? Oh, I remember this place. Oh, oh yeah, I remember that place too, actually. So, this place is absolutely massive, mate. I'm pretty sure all these islands are new as well. Oh. Let's do it right through the house. Yeah, anything? I don't know, man. Oh, there's just black space. It's really weird. 
So the black spaces are obviously just like undeveloped parts of, of the game. But it always was really weird to me, like this specific spot, just right in the middle of everything. Like, why is that, of all things, like have nothing there? Some of this is like, why not just put water here for now, you know? <laughs> why does it have it all be water until you want to add something? I don't know, it's really weird. It's really weird how they like laid this out. Make, like advance my account. <laughs> what the hell? Why is this vampire just here? <laughs> Hello, who are you? I look, this sucks. You look like you've seen the ghost. This is pretty much the game. You click something, then you wait, and then you look at your experience. You're like, oh my god, it's so close to leveling up. What, what, what happens at level two? Oh god, I hope we find out soon. Because, heck, this definitely takes some time sometimes. Um, so, yes, quests on screen. Obviously, you're gonna do like all the training off, like off stream. Although, I'm probably gonna record it. I might do like update videos. I don't know how interesting this game would be to people that didn't play this game. There we go. We invented fishing level, fishing level. Something. I got nothing from that. And you can click on the skill, it'll tell you like when you learn to fish stuff. Like, starting level five. I think I love you. Is that weird? I love pixels. <laughs> Goodbye, my love. There we go. <laughs> what am I to do? What's wrong? Uh, what's wrong? OT, 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 I'm in a terrible, terrible mess. It's the Duke's birthday today, and I should be making him a lovely big birthday cake, a big breast. Um, I forgot to buy the ingredients. I'll never get them in time now. He'll sack me. What will I do? I have four children and a goat to look after. I don't. I don't think there's any goats around here at all, man. Would you please, would you help me please? I'd love to help you. Oh, thank you, thank you. I need milk and egg and flour. But uh, trust me, wow, look at all these assholes. There's asshole. so many asshole. Kill asshole, please. Asshole be gone. I'm gonna use the bucket on here, and I believe it'll milk the cow. Milk the cow. Gilly groats. I like to milk this girl, though. <laughs> No, this, why would there be a chicken egg in a house for you? Yeah, I don't know. It's a bucket. Mr. Bucket, Mr. Bucket, buckets are fun. There's an egg. Oh, oh shit. There's just a cook, cook all bun. That's awesome. Oh, are we just doing that now? I want to play, but school and the usual. Um, there we go. Cooking level two. Sure, I got all the memories though. So that's awesome. Which means I can finally come to Hyrule Castle for the first time. Oh, good job, man. Cooking level three. I'm gonna go click some grain over here. Uh, hop. Oh, there's a hopper right there. I see. Okay. This is really how like like flour is made, which I think is really cool. Uh, oh, there you go. Operate hopper controls. Good. <laughs> there we, oh, oh, is we good, sucker? Um, you can literally just buy things. Empty flour bin. There we go. Done. Did it, son. <laughs> Music just loop. All right, gotta find the ingredients. Here's a bucket of milk. Here's a pot of flour. Here's a fresh egg. You brought me everything I need. I am safe. Thank you. So I'm going to go to the Duke's party. I'm afraid not. Only the big cheeses get to dine with the Duke. <laughs> well, maybe one day I'll be important enough to sit on the Duke's table. Sit on it, not at it. Just on it. Maybe but not to be holding my breath. <laughs> There we go. You have completed the cook's <laughs> assistant quest. You're on one quest point there to cook. The most amazing thing. Oh, good. Level five cooking shit. We actually could have, uh, uh, we can now cook herring. If we click continue, <laughs> it would have told me that. But. Okay. So this at this point, I actually started explaining, uh, what we're trying to do here. Uh, right now I want to go train agility. You'll see just right there. Uh, and the reason why, this is post commentary by the way, and the reason why you want to train agility is because you know how like whenever there's a run option in a game, you want to use it pretty much at all times, right? Well, the thing is when you first start this game, you run out of uh, run energy very quickly. And the only way to uh, remedy that and make it uh, better, allow you to run faster, allow you to recharge quicker is by training the agility skill. The issue with that is uh, the very first area you go to train agility is seriously across the world. So this is a post stream at this point. You can see, like, here's where we start, right? In Lumbridge, that's where we're starting town. So you gotta follow this path all the way west. Uh, you wanna go up here. They gotta cross this extremely dangerous mountain called White Wolf Mountain, where you can get killed really quickly and easily. And then you wanna continue heading down here. <laughs> and uh, there it is, finally over there. It may not seem like super far, but that's probably a good, like, at least 20 or 30 minute walk. And just ignore where I'm standing right now. So here's me going on my adventure to try and get to the agility course. 
let's try running over to the agility course, shall we? Let's let's see. Let's go for a little walk and eventually die and be very sad about everything, really. A thousand curses upon you! Uh, this feathers that this chicken drops is actually so there. We go level two. He is officially part of the Brahmi. Yep, that's true. Look at that sit down. Oh shit! Oh shit! Oh shit! Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god! I died! No! I probably should have been more prepared for that. <laughs> Man, I was like, I got this. Shrimp, oh, I've made this run before. Oh, wow, I didn't burn either. Also, cooked chicken looks weird. Hey, this guy doesn't really drop a whole lot of money, does he? Not really. So, this is the thieving skill. Amazing, 10 out of 10. Wood thief again. Uh, this is also the give you carpal tunnel uh, as quickly as possible. Uh, this is called Barbarian Village. A lot of people come here and they fish. And uh, here's the fish. Okay, I graduated in 2013. Remember grade 10. Did your help, Chris sucks? What? Hello, Leo. Then you come hate me, Chris sucks. I'm gonna probably some great. So I think I think 2011 is correct. Cause I remember grade 10 science class. Someone like talking. About, hey, have you heard of this game called Minecraft? He's right. Yes. Good. Okay. So <laughs> normally these are kind of a pain in the ass, and you do have the opportunity to just dismiss them. But especially at the beginning of the game, maybe he'll give me something like super useful. Or is a useless cosmetic item? Good. <laughs> oh god damn it! All right, this is post commentary. So after that failed uh, excuse of me trying to get my butthole over to uh, the agility course, I decide I'm gonna go uh, to this place called the Security of Strongholds, where uh, it teaches you how to keep your account safe from getting hacked. And on my way, uh, I picked up some fish at Barbarian Village there. And you can see I'm trying to sell said fish here on the Grand Exchange, and uh, I'm failing miserably at doing so. Uh, but this is called the Grand Exchange. This is pretty much the economy in the game, and it's super cool because it, it's really an economy. Um, if something's not high in demand, it'll go lower down in price, and if, if a lot of people are trying to buy something, it'll go higher up in price, and that's pretty neat. So I, I use this uh, money I get from selling this fish to buy some armor and some uh, other cooked food for me to be able to take into um, the strongholds in attempts to make my way down. The reason why I want to do this is because for each floor you make it through, you get a, a large chunk of money and you end up with 10,000 coins by the end of it and it, it is super helpful. Gotta give a shout to my boy Drotty. Um, he actually found my stream and um, he tracked me down in game and offered me a hundred thousand gold and a hundred lobsters. That was super cool of him. I declined it because uh, I talk about this a lot. I think when people just are given stuff like this, it kind of takes away the fun a little bit. I think one of the like one of the best memories I have of this game is like starting from the bottom. Now we're here, you know, starting from the bottom, trying to make your way up from the top. Or sorry, from the bottom, and it's super fun. And you know, that first like a hundred thousand gold to make is like normally the hardest to make, right? So that 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 journey to get that is uh, kind of the fun part of it. So I declined it, but seriously, man, thanks a lot for that offer. If you're watching this, that's super cool of you. You don't know me, I didn't know you, and that's super nice of you to like go out of your way to do that for me. So thank you, and I. Uh, wish you good luck on your future RuneScape endeavors. Yeah, this is called the uh, excuse through the hole, find a ladder, a few feet down, lead to stronghold escape. What the hell is all that? See that? Stars? What? <laughs> what are we? Are we floating in the universe? What is that? Why? Greetings, adventure. This is the place kept uh, safe by the spirits within the door. Now you just pass through your last question about security. Hope you'll learn much from us. Please pass through and begin your adventure. Beware the various monsters to dwell within. Okay, so since I've so fragmentally, like, explained what this place is, I, I guess just post-commentary Chris will do this. So, what this place is, it's a, it's a maze, you gotta work your way through, and you, uh, talk to these stores and they ask you questions, such as, such as, uh, what's a good example for a bank pin number? And you choose from, like, a bunch of things, it's like, oh, your real-life pin number, or a celebrity's birthday, it's, so, essentially, just trying to keep you safe <laughs> as you make your way through. Uh, so, uh, there's not really a whole lot to show from this, to be honest, but I'll just kind of zip on through. Alright, drop a trout. We'll drop a trout. Congratulations, you have been deemed worthy of the reward. You have unlocked the flap emote. Okay, uh, turns out we're actually not here for dim, dim sick muns. We're here for the flap emote! Check this shit out! Wait, what? Here we go, check this shit. <laughs> The way the um the shoulder cards. <laughs> what? Uh, all right. Now we're in the the, the something of uh, starving f f uh, food. <clears throat> Rickety door. 
Marty. Why, why are you opening me, Marty? I'm, I'm not a door, Marty. Oops, no, we should go talk to the chest. The grain of plenty. So it's like the starvation aisle, apparently. The grain shifts in the sacks, sighing audible words. Congratulations, adventurer. You have been deemed worthy of the reward. You have also unlocked the slap head of bot. I like how it's like, you know, creepy ass chest creaking grain talking to you and it's like you've unlocked the slap head emote yeah it's not even really a slap head it's like a slap the slap your chin emote danger very deadly creatures blow Pfft, i'm not afraid i'm not afraid I'm very scared of dying it's some weird savage 90 coffee so that's awesome man holy crap man that's super cool these are the things I would train on when I was a free account. Oh, Jesus Christ! Oh, my God! Was that just a yawn emote? How dare you? Give me one of those books. The box hinges are like audible words. Congratulations, adventure. You have a deemed worthy of the reward. You have not yet the emote. <laughs> Without seeing, like... When you're zoomed in enough and you can't see the the hour the, the the light bubbles, like what even is that? Is he is he like Yes Um uh, like 20 bucks now? I'm happy. Yeah, that's awesome, man. Oh wait, what? Whoa, whoa, wait, what? There's just lads in here? Oh, maybe that might be a random event actually. That is a random event. Was, wait, no, they're just here! Holy shit! 159? What the hell? Oh. Oh. That's new. That was not there before. Oh my god, look, they're just hanging out. Right. Oh shit, oh shit, oh my god. <sighs> oh my god, I pooped myself. Oh, I damn way I need to shit myself. Good lord. Wait, I already got the 10k. Oh. Well, I guess we're going for the boots. Boots? <laughs> I panicked, eight. Wait, did I just go the wrong way? Did I just go the wrong way? Oh, no, I didn't. Wait, what? What? I did go the wrong way. Wait, I missed it? What the fuck? Wow. I skipped it. What is this? Map link? Okay. I guess there's like an exit there? Wow, I'm an idiot. What is that? What the hell? Who's that? Who's this Satan ass looking good lad, boat boy? As your hand touches a cradle, that's right, it's a cradle <coughs> in the death circle. Your voice in your head of a million dead adventures. Welcome, adventurers. You have a choice. You can choose between two pairs of boots. You are protected with exactly the same. However, they will be very different. You could always come back and get another pair if you want to lose them or even swap them in the other side. What do you guys want? Should I get the cut the should I get the rainbow booth? Oh boy. Or should we get the fighting ones? Doesn't matter, let's get the colorful ones. I don't take the colorful ones. Congratulations! I've successfully navigated the, the, the struggle of security. If you let the security account, you unlock the stamp full of modes. So remember to keep your account. Remember everybody! Say no to, to, to say say no! Where, where is it? Why why are these out of order for? Say no! Okay, who the hell? What is this? I don't know what this lad is. What are you, lad? Can you hear me? I can, but I'm not wearing an amulet. Go speak. A am I dead? No, I'm not ghost. I'm a spirit. I'm injecting my thoughts into your head. <laughs> oh, that's interesting. Rather disturbing. Try not to think about it. Uh, who are you? Who art thou? I am Solstan, the greatest barbarian explorer. Evidently not. You're dead. It's very nice to meet you, Solstan. Tom. I'm Chris Sucks. I know. Oh. And even the, even even the NPCs that have no uh, cognizance in this game, even they know I suck. So we explain this place too. Yes, my sister told me not to go. She said it was dangerous. I'm no fight. Unfortunately, she was correct. Oh, your sister is Latara, the woman out on the surface. What? I don't. I never met no Latara. I died, of course. I tried to stay up long before I made to the treasure, but I was shot with arrows just like approaching. There's there's nothing that shoots arrows down here. Nobody came to help. Oh no, they had no idea I was hurt. I guess they assumed I found a treasure and made a new life for myself. Were you not a fan of the barbarian lifestyle? 
It was all death and pillaging. I prefer the final things left. Like exploring and discovery. Ha 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 ha. I enjoy those too. Uh, why are you here? I came for treasure. All right. You were looking for what's in that cradle? Yes, but lost I'm dead. I guess I could show you for a prize. Mm, I don't have much off up if you happen upon the skull scepter, I can make it stronger. Stronger and you say in what way? Currently, the scepter is fragile. It breaks once all charges have been used. Show me the treasure. I'll could be in such recharge with any scepter piece. You, my dead friend, have a deal. Cool. Okay, so you reach that's kinda that's kind of a nice like little quality of life thing. Down. Oh, there you look lost. Are you okay? Took the bomb of struggle and I was emerged victorious. Well done. Uh, did, you didn't happen to find my brother about that. Ooh, I sense bad news. It's okay. He's been gone so long. I, <laughs> I believe I'm, I, he's been gone so long. I forgot he existed. Well, at least he died doing what he loved. I'm going to go get some rest now, but it's been a long day for me. A very painful day. Bye. See you, Savage. Thanks for coming, man. I made it to the top of the King of the Ladder course. So the people at the top had something to do and falling off would kill you if you didn't catch something. Wait, was there a part one to that? There was not. Okay, good. It was awesome. Uh, damn, this has been a two-hour stream. Not yet, but it's getting there. I'm gonna go to the two-hour mark, then I'm gonna stop it. I uh, said so I'm doing what he loves. True, I will raise a drink for him tonight. Uh, he was a good man, even though he's a pacifist. Would you call me? Would you a pacifier? Uh, as will I. See around. Oh yeah, the, the, the tower. Goodbye, Chris. Sucks. What a what an asshole. Oh, oh. hello. <laughs> Party hat. Yeah, I'll take that. Okay. A miserable pile of flesh. How about you? Who says that? I think it's Dracula, isn't it? Thief levels level two! Nothing new happened though. Farmer level. <laughs> Look at these stupid ass pictures. Look at this cave goblin. Look at this dude! Greetings, so welcome to my castle. Have any quests for me? Well, not really a quest, but I recently discovered a strange talisman. It seems to be mystical and I have never seen anything like it before. Would you uh, take it to the head wizard? The wizard's tower for me it's just southwest of here it should not take you very long i'd be awfully grateful sure no problem thank you very much stranger i am sure the head of the wizard will be able to reward you for something interesting the air talisman Ooh. welcome adventure to the wild renowned wizard tower how may i help you fucking goddamn man um i'm looking for the head wizards Oh, and you are? And why would you be doing that? The Duke of Lumberd sent me to find him. I have a weird talisman he found. He said the head wizard would be very interested in it. Did he now? <laughs> well, this is interesting. Hand over. Blind adventure. Let me see all the, all the hubbubas about. It's just uh, some amulets. Oh, here you go. And the talisman to the wizard. Wow, this is incredible. This talisman you brought me, it's the last piece of the puzzle, I think, finally, the legacy of our ancestors, it will return to us once more. I need time to study this, Chris, say, excuse me, please do this task while I study this talisman you have brought me. Uh, in the mighty town of Varrock, which is located northeast of here, <laughs> there's a certain shop that sells magical runes. I have this package of all research I've done, uh, bring to the rune store, and I required someone to take them to the shopkeeper. So that he may share my research and offers insight. Do this for me. I'll give this back to you. If my suspicions are correct, I'll let you into the knowledge of one of the great secrets the world's ever known. Secrets are powerful that destroyed the original wizard's tower all the centuries ago. My research <gasps> combined with a mysterious talisman. I cannot believe the answer to this mystery is so close. Do the same for me, Chris. Sucks. Be a war in the way you can never imagine. Certainly. Of course. Yeah, certainly. Take this package and head directly north from here through Draenor Village until you reach the Barbarian Village. And then head east from there until you reach Verrock. Once of rock, take this package to the owner of the reed shop. His name is Aubrey. Uh, you may find it helpful to ask one of the Varrock citizens for directions. As Varrock could be a confusing place for the first time visitor, he uh, he will give you a special item. Bring it back to me and I'll show you the mis mystery of the runes. The head wizard gives you a package. A package, you see. Uh, best luck with the quest, Chris. Sakes. Well, as great as this has been, I think I'm going to call it here. Die. Hey, cool. Level three attack. All right, and the rest of this episode is just gonna be me leveling up my stuff. So you can see, uh, this is all post commentary, obviously. Um, I'm just gonna zoom through all these. <laughs> well, I say it quickly, but because there's so many, it's not all that fast, really. <laughs> so my first uh, thing I did here was I started leveling all my combat skills. My goal was ten attack, ten strength, ten defense. 
Um, I don't think I ever really went over what each of those really did properly. Attack is pretty much how often you hit something. Strength is how hard you hit something, so the higher numbers. And the defense is how often uh, zeros will be hit on you. And, um, yeah, I, as I would kill things, I'd also pick up the bones and bury them, so you'll also see my prayer go up over time. Uh, hit points, um, is your health, obviously, so every time you level that up, that's one extra health point. I uh, also you can see I got a total level 50 there with, uh, five strength, so, hey, that's cool. I think you start off with a total level of 27, so, there we go, there's the first prayer level. And, um, yeah, so... <laughs> The health points, that actually, uh, every combat uh, skill you train, every one you hit, you get four experience points, but with every um, one you hit, you get one experience points and hit points. So that's how that works. Um, yeah. Uh, also, at this point, I realized, hey, I should stop killing goblins and I should kill cows because of the same level. Also, I missed some stuff there. Uh, 12 hit points and I think it's five strength, maybe? I don't know. But it was in the chat there if you were curious to see it. I didn't read it fast enough. Um, cows, yeah, I mentioned it in my stream. I got Burst of Strength with level 4 prayer there, which increases my strength by 5% when it's active. Um, every time you kill a cow, it drops a cow hide, and you can sell that for some money. You could also use it for other things, but... <laughs> there you go, I also picked up the meat from the cows and started cooking it. Uh, I, can, I can now make pineapple punches at level 8 cooking. Yay! And there we go, our first goal, 10 attack. I apologize, <laughs> some of the sound is loud, and others it's quiet, and... It's because I recorded it on different- I, I have a laptop I'm playing this game on as well. Uh, mostly when I'm like, you know, in bed, essentially. Um, so that's why you're gonna hear some like different <laughs> volume levels here. And you can see, the farther we go, I just started cutting the clips up more and more. Cause it's like, you don't need to hear the same thing over and over again, you know? There's 14 hit points. I think that's the last hit point level I got. Um, hit points is slower to train, and even though it's, it's higher than all my other stats right now, like, you know, keep in mind it started at 10. And all my other combat stats start out one, so there we go, there's level 10 defense. So there we go, that's all my combat I did between streams. Um, also level 10 defense, you can wear black armor! Cool beans, bruv. Um, I then decided to go do some mining, even though I never uh, leveled it up before. I figured, I mean, I did it on Tutorial Island, so I showed you guys what it was, so I was like, yeah, why not? So I came over here, and um, the best way to deal with this stuff is get like half an inventory full of copper and then tin. Tin's actually, well, there it is right there, actually. <laughs> Um, and the reason why I want to do half and half is because you could also, you know, you could use the ore and go smelt it into bronze bars. So I will eventually be- help. Oh, there we go right there. Cool. Also the first time you're hearing that. Smithing is a lot slower to level up than mining, so I believe you only get one more. You can also make bronze maces at level two. Yeah, we only got one level from- from that entire trip we just did, where we got multiple mining levels, so. But that being said, I only made the bars and there was no anvil beside it, um, nearby to make uh, the armor itself, so maybe it'll go up a bit more once I start um, using the uh, bars itself. There's level 10 mining. I believe I stopped there. And then I decided to do some thieving. Because well, why not, right? So I decided to steal from these men's. <laughs> I never noticed before I started doing this uh, for level 5 thieving. You can do cake stalls, tea stalls, crafting stalls, and something else I missed. <laughs> uh, that's fine. Um. Also, what I'm doing here is, if you talk to this guy named Hands in front, if you right-click him and uh, ask him how- uh, right-click age on him, it'll tell you how long you've been playing for, your, your total playtime. Uh, level 10, theming, you can do farmer, so I decided to go do that for a little bit. And so I accidentally did that with Hands, though, and that's actually a little achievement thing you have to do, so... Oops, didn't mean to do that. Level 13, good to get chest from Ardog, Relica, and the Wilderness. Uh, more on that eventually, maybe. Also, that's level- total level 100, so cool. Um, and then we decided to go do some fishing. <laughs> I only got to level 5. I was gonna go much farther than that because at level 5 you actually unlock, uh, sardines. Oh, well, right here. There's actually another random event I got. Um, uh, the guy asks you to kill a pheasant with a certain amount of tails. You bring him the meat and then you leave. And then he gives you a reward. In this case, it was a little horse top. Uh, yeah, so I just, I had planned to do more than this fire right making the first level there. I plan to do more fishing, uh, however, I die- or sorry, I didn't die, I almost died though, um, where you can go to the next box at level 5, you unlock, uh, level 10 cooking, I can now make red berry pies, I'm just gonna make mackerel and toad crunchies, goodness gracious. The spot where you can get to, uh, fish in the next spot, I'm just gonna make chili, corn, corn, and spit rolls burn me, good lord. Um, here, yeah, okay, there's five fishing. After that, I went to an area, there you go, we're to try fishing for sardines, that's what it was, and karambwanji. I tried going to- I tried to go to fish in this new area, which is actually I'm right around right now, which is- this is just north of the wizard's tower where I ended the stream. 
Um, there was a dark wizard there that attacked me, and he he almost killed me. So I decided, ooh, maybe I should not fish for now. And I decided to do some wood cutting, as you can see. At level six, you can get a steel axe. Um, there we go. I thought there'd be something else going on there. There, there's a bunch of fire making. Um, essentially. Yeah, uh, level four you could now like candle lanterns. Eh, I don't know about anything about that uh, Essentially, you know chop wood then you can light it. You can also sell the wood if you want That's actually makes a pretty penny uh, pyre logs a little five fire making cool um, That's another it's like a mini game thing that I don't really know a whole lot about so <laughs> It's the first time watching this footage back. It sounds so ridiculous getting the levels over and over. Here's what I thought I was doing after I unlocked the steel axe. I just went and bought one I was like, why not, really? I mean, I did plan to just do stuff like this on stream, but I'm like, well, do I really gotta wait for streaming to do that? And I was like, nah. So, there we go. Level 9 wood cutting. Level 10 wood cutting. Yeah, listen to that. Like, there's different jingles. Members can now cut down belly chicken. And I never noticed that before I, like, started editing this video. There's different jingles. I think it's when you unlock something versus when you don't unlock something. A black axe at level 11 wood cutting. Yay! Yay! So many fire making! Uh, um, oil lamps at level 12 fire making apparently. Alright, good. Uh, there's a lot in this game where it's like you use it once or twice for like a quest storyline or something. Uh, level 12 you do log canoes. That's actually a form of transportation. Uh, most notably for the wilderness. Uh, that's where people can go fight each other and kill each other and lose all your stuff or gain all a bunch of new stuff. Anal. Uh, burn oak logs at 15 fire making. Cool beans. <laughs> so very. And at level 15 wood cutting, you can now chop down oak trees, which is, you know, pretty much the upgrade version of just normal wood. So we'll be doing that eventually. Also, where I am right now is just south of the Grand Exchange. And that was it. So uh, thanks for watching. See you next time. Bye-bye.